Hi, I'm Taylor Vieger with Resounding Mountain, and this is Mario Stanley with High Point Expeditions. And today, we're going to recover my stuck vehicle with our bare hands. Ready? One, two, three. Yeah. So what we have here is a couple key items, what we're going to need to rescue our car out of a ditch, stuck on the side of the road. Um, great example, driving through Colorado, hit an icy patch, and you're just kind of a little stuck, and you don't have a, a traditional winch pulley system. So if you're an avid climber, especially a trad climber, these are items that you should probably always have on you. I know I do in my car, just being a climber. So I have a dynamic rope. This happens to be a 70 meter right here. I also have some tubular webbing. I'm wearing a couple slings. I'm wearing a double and a single. And then I have a myriad of Prussix cords here on the floor. So what we're gonna do, combining with all these, we're gonna build what is traditionally known as a three to one, but we're gonna double it all the way up to a 15 to one, maybe even a 30 to one. Now, is this traditionally how you wanna pull out your car? No, but if you're in a bind and you're in a situation and you need to get out, this will work absolutely great. It involves a little bit more elbow grease, but you know, that never hurt anybody. So I'm gonna go ahead and start getting set up. Right now I have my tubular webbing connected to with two overhand knots. One overhand knot is enough, but two just doubles it up and makes sure it's safe, the rock climber way, redundancy. So I'm gonna go ahead and I've got a great tree to use here. So we're gonna go ahead and sling this tree with a girth hitch. Now in a situation like this in towing and pulling a car, I would recommend you double up on all your beaters, locking, non-locking. Like I said, in this situation, I'm going very, very, very minimalistic. So I'm trying to use really just what I have available. Uh, so let's go ahead, take our rope here. knot I'm going to use to tie on here is going to be a figure eight. Now if you're a climber, eight on a bite, um, sorry, eight on a bite or your tie-in knot, the figure eight follow three is pretty standard and you should know that one. So twist, twist, a nice little eight in here. Bam, we have our eight. We're going to feed back through. And you just proceed to trace your knot. Now the only difference in here is I'm going to add a little something something into this guy with an extra beater here. Now for uh, you old school climbers, you guys will recognize this name uh, if you know what a marlin spike is. A marlin spike was originally used to untie and untangle really cinched down knives. They used it in the valley and all throughout the country. But uh, what I like to do is use a beater in the middle of my figure eight and I call it a marlin beater my own kind of personal co coin term. Uh, it works out pretty well for me. Uh, so here we go. So we have this marlin beaner attached. We're set up right here. This marlin beaner is just in there just to help so the knot doesn't get cinched down too tight. So when it comes time to break the knot, it comes right out. So, so now we have our master point set up on our tree. We have our vehicle that we need to move got our dynamic rope set up. So what I need to do is I have my master point, but I need to extend my master point. The reason being here for a three to one system, what I wanna be able to have is be able to run multiple lines. So once I set up my Prussics on this, and I know this doesn't make sense now, but it's about to make a lot of sense really quickly. Once we set up our Prussics on it, we're gonna be running our line back and forth. So we need different points that we can attach to. So what I'm gonna go ahead and do is I'm gonna take a locking beaner here. I'm going to use a double link sling. I preferably like Eldridge slings. Uh, they are a European company that has been in the States for a little bit now. They are a great company. They make great products. And they make this sling, which is a military spec um, webbing. And I just 
I absolutely love it. So I think they're a great company to go with. So if you're also looking for climbing gear, I definitely recommend, uh, definitely keep Eldridge in consideration. So I've got my uh, locking beaters here opposing. I'm gonna go ahead and put my double link sling in. I have it double wrapped to make it a single, just a little bit extra strength. Cool. All right, I'm gonna take my Grigory here, made by Petzl. And I have, I'm gonna take my Petzl Grigory here, open it up, get ready to load the rope in. So I need to load the climbers in, and if you ever have used a Grigory, there's a little picture and a diagram. The diagram and the picture of the climber, that's gonna be your end where your vehicle is attached to. Now what this is, is a auto locking thing, belay device, also known as, properly known as a assisted braking belay device. So we're gonna go ahead and attach that. Make sure this bad boy is locked. Always, always, always lock your gear. It makes it safer for you in the long run. Even though we're not doing rock climbing here, you should practice these habits because it's going to make it safer for you. Alright, so what we want to do, I'm going to put a little tension on this system. So I have it. Okay, good. Alright, so this is the first leg of our system is set up. Now, right now, what this is is called one-to-one. -one. For every little bit that I can pull, that the vehicle is going to move. I really have no mechanical advantage though right now, and that's what we want. Okay? so. What we're gonna do is with simple prussix cord. I have hollow blockers. Ho what is it? The hollow block by Sterling. These are great prussix cord. You can make prussix cord out of anything. A little bit of cordelette from REI, uh, from any outdoor uh, uh, gear supply shop. You can go ahead and do that. So. What we're going to do is we're going to wrap this around and make something what is known as an auto block. It's very simple. You basically put your sling on, you're stitched in. I generally like to keep it out of the way. So I'm going to wrap it here. Now the thing about a hitch and an auto block is a hitch, not a knot. The neater your knots look, the better they function. That is a fact. So we're going to... I've go ahead, gone ahead and wrapped this around, so what we're going to do is hold and attach that. Let's make sure it will move, it will move, pull back, cinch down, nice, pull forward, cinch this down, great. Now my goal is to take the break end of the rope and clip this into here. Now I have my first setup of mechanical advantage. This is known as a three to one. Now, any of you American mountain guides out there with the AMG, the AMGA that have your single pitch certification, you'll recognize this. This is pretty standard what you do when you're helping a client up the wall, but you need to give a client or somebody a little bit of mechanical advantage. So I'm gonna give it a yard and let's see what happens a little bit. Well, I'm cinching down, I'm tightening it down pretty good. This is all I've got. I don't really have anything else helping me out here. So I want a little bit more mechanical advantage in the setup. So what I'm gonna do is I am going to add a point in up here where I can attach it and then throw another one. Cause this is a three to one. I'm gonna make a 15 to one and maybe even a 30 to one if I need it. I always recommend to have a little tune that you hum to. It makes it work out a little faster, especially in cold weather. It makes you feel better. See what happens. Now this is a little different of a prux cord. It's the exact same thing, pretty much, except this is a little tubular. The hollow block is flat. It is essentially this without the sh with just the sheath. The sheath is really strong in itself and it's without a center. So what's nice about the hollow blockers, they lay down flat. This will still do the job, it's just different. This is also made by Motolius, uh, it's a, just a different company, they've been around for quite a while. Um, 
and this is their pre-made um, quarter lat press cord, however you want it. Same deal. I put another auto blocker on. Reason why we're using the auto blocker is it is a knot that slides really well. You can use a Prusik or a Clem Heist and they work great, but when you want like real accessibility just to move this thing a lot, because you're constantly gonna be going back and forth, it's gonna make it a little harder for you. Make your day not as fun. Right now we've gone ahead and set up a nine to one. So remember, for every one of these we have set up, for every three feet, I'm pulling one, uh, I'm pulling one foot. So every nine feet, I pull one foot. This is really works best if you're in a two-man situation, but if it works well. So I'm gonna go ahead and ask Taylor right now to put the car in neutral, and if I need him to punch it in reverse, I'll go ahead and ask for that. We shouldn't need that today, but if I need it, we'll ask. So, Taylor, if you can put the car in reverse. I'm at, sorry, neutral. A little cold here. All right, let's see if we can move this vehicle just bare hands. Now, since I'm an avid rock climber, I'm gonna give myself a little bit of an advantage here. Some of you guys might know what these are. These are Jumars. Not everybody has these, but these are for ascending and descending the rope. Awesome. I'm gonna give myself just a little advantage in having these. You probably won't have these in your setup, but if you are an avid trad climber and you do some big wall climbing, you'll have these. successfully gotten our car out of a ditch with a little bit of elbow grease a little bit of grit and grime nice. and only using Woo. bare minimum rock climbing equipment now granted I did use some ascenders to for a little bit more advantage just a beaner four locking beaners a Grigri and a basic climbing rope and a sling there you have it get your car out of a ditch in a bind if you're a climber thank you and I hope to hear from you guys. And if you have any questions, please let us know.